Hello my beautiful leafies, welcome to another vlog. I am parked outside my house because we had the gardeners here today and like cleaning the garage and everything but I'm really, sorry it's like a little bit hot in the car now so I just want to put the aircon <laughs> I'm really craving like an organized declutter. It is Friday afternoon. I did a bit of work this morning, a lot of editing, a lot of admin. I still have some things to do, but it is like afternoon. We don't have much in the house in terms of food so I thought we could go to Woolies together get some groceries and just organize a little bit you know me and I know you we both love to organize together so let's go things and I feel like their Instagram is chef's kiss I just I love everything on there but home decor can be quite pricey and I it's an investment for sure I have purchased chairs for this kitchen island twice now and I've sold both sets because I just felt like I wasn't in I didn't hate them, but I wasn't in love. These, however, I'm in love with. The team at Hotaker actually sent me this one to demo to try before I buy. <laughs> try before you buy. And 
the comfort level, let me just tell you. They don't have like back rests, which I thought, you know, both of the chairs that I didn't like ended up bothering me when they're like next to the island. I want to be able to tuck them away and just like push them underneath. That's why I made this bottom part of the island so big so that I can put chairs there and that I have the whole island and not having to like, you know, have the chairs against the island. But it is comfortable considering it doesn't have like, and if I feel like it's the right height. The other ones were too tall, like my legs would touch the, um, the, what is this called? Granite, stone, uh, marble, <laughs> whatever stone this is. It would touch the top of the table, like at the bottom. And I just feel like I'm yet to find the vibe I'm trying to go for and the look. I'm really trying to mix styles, like a little bit organic, a little bit tiny bit of farmhouse um, but still elegant and glam and clean and like minimal but I like elements of like wood like this what I've did what I've done here is I've put a very glam gold mirrored tray on top of a wooden board and that kind of mixes the glam elegant you know fancy glamour with a little bit of organic a little bit of natural i just really like to com like combine all of the styles but i am in two minds because i'm thinking of getting four chairs because they actually fit let me show you so i was thinking originally of doing two because they would perfectly like go underneath with more than enough space because we made the island quite big but if we put four how nice does that look and I feel that it really is different from any other wash of wood like you get different washes of stains within wood i feel like it's so different from anything else we have and i really like mixing it and the like natural element from the rope and the texture that it brings oh, so beautiful so you ladies will have to let me know I have this chair, I think, for a, a few days to decide. I've been sitting on it. It's so comfy. I just need to decide, am I going to get it? Am I going to get two? Should I get four? I think four will just, like, just go with the island so well because I feel that I really regret making this island so big because I would have wanted it to be literally... This much smaller so I can put accent chairs here but if I do four chairs then it's literally just going with it so well I feel like it's a bit big for just two chairs I feel like it, it needed to be you know not so square and just a little bit more like slim this way that's the thing with renovations like you renovate a house before moving in and then you live in the space and then you regret like tiny 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 things so i think definitely with our next home i mm, i would love to just like renovate with the process and not just do everything at once because i feel when you live in a space you really really determine how functional it is for you and really what you want to do with the space so let me know I think I want to organize the pantry. Oh, this pantry is a never-ending never story. This pantry cupboard. We'll have like a proper pantry in the next house, like a walk-in pantry. Manifesting. <laughs> but yeah, this is we are working with. It just, sometimes it just overflows. And I need to just 
pull it together again. Adulting is learning that you will clean forever and ever and just not stop. <laughs> Let's do this. They look a little bit messy. I have to clean them out from time to time because they just tend to get a little bit messy with the hair and like product and we work with water and I just like to take everything out. Clean out toothbrushes, like clean everything nicely and just wipe everything down and vacuum. But nothing says a new season, by the way. Happy March. I literally cannot believe we are in a whole new month and the third month of this year this year is just flying by but autumn is approaching obviously in south africa we, we have long summers but i feel like nothing says a new season like a new fragrance i actually got this a while ago but i haven't i just haven't felt in the mood to unbox it or use it but I love, love, love Jo Malone and I got two new fragrances and I got them um, personalized actually. So I have two over here. The first one, I already kind of unboxed it. I think I did a TikTok a while back and I think I used it once, but I really just, I wanted to show you these on the vlog. 
and I just felt like it needed like it own, its own little moment. So this is the English Pear and Sweet Pea. It is a new fragrance from Jo Malone and the bottle is just so pretty. So I was thinking of maybe putting this on my vanity because it looks so, so stunning. So I think I'm actually going to wear this one today and I think I'm going to mix it with the other one I got as well. I love English pear. I just take the, the box out. I am just such a unboxing and packaging girly. Like a product is really sold to me by the packaging. Like if I have, I already opened it, obviously on the TikTok, but it comes with like a ribbon like this. If you've never purchased from Jo Malone before, it truly is such an experience they spray the tissue paper they just they package everything so beautifully and so nicely and then comes with a ribbon and you like open it and everything is just so luxe and just such an experience this one is the nectarine blossom and honey and i got my name engraved on it and both of them actually have like something on the lid, like this one, actually has a J and a B on it and I didn't get anything else on the bottle. And then this one, I just got a J. So the Nectarine Blossom and Honey is also another one of my favorites from Jo Malone. The other ones I like, um, Murren Tonka, but it's a more like, a little bit more to the masculine side. I like Murren Tonka. I like um, English Pan Freesia. I like... Um, Peony and Blush Suede, like one of the first fragrances I ever got from Jo Malone. I have a couple in my collection, like the diffuser at the back. Oh, this is just, both of these are just such clean scents. This diffuser I also love, it's called Wild Bluebell. It's just, oh, stunning. And this one I actually also got engraved i don't know if you'll be able to tell but like at the top there it has an engraving that says home is with you jmb forever and this i actually got as like a home gift to me and the house <laughs> when we moved in here so i've had this for a while actually and Sometimes um, with these diffusers, if they are done, I'll just top it with like a refill and just keep the bottle because I just, I love the aesthetics of <laughs> the bottle. So yeah, we are heading out. We are just having like a very chilled day, chilled weekend. But like I said, I want to get some things sorted around the house things that we've been putting off because we're so busy and this weekend we're just like we're not going to do anything we are literally just going to stay at home do things that we haven't had time for so we actually want to go to like a Leroy Merlin or like a hardware store and get some things for a little project that I've been wanting to do so I'm gonna bring you these along <music> loved this like wood paneling 
and I just want to incorporate it somewhere in the house. So a while back, actually, we got one of these panels just to see, get an idea of where I want to do it. I was thinking maybe behind the TV, but because the console is already wood, I felt like it would be too matchy-matchy. And then I wanted to do it in the hallway, and then I thought of doing it in the studio slash gym, but it's quite like a large wall, so it would cost, I think at least, just 5,000 there, at mm. least like five grand for that wall. So if I like it here, yeah, I would potentially do it in there as well. So we got a couple of panels, I think we have eight, so we're going to do it on this wall because... This wall by the entry door is a little bit tricky because you can't really put anything there because the door opens against that wall. But I feel like when the door is closed, it just, it feels and looks just a little bit bland. So I think it'll look really nice. And with all of the other wooden accents, I think it'll tie in really nicely. I'm going to eat my sandwich and then I'll show you a little haul of everything else. I know I'm here to stay. Won't you come outside? numbers but four looked pretty good like just kind of scattered like this and asked brain there was a lady like as we were walking out she was like oh look at those flowers i need i'm going back i need to go back here take my things i need to go back she was talking to her husband it was so funny so yeah i love the faux flowers but they need to look real they need to look like they are real flowers and I feel like it's so nice to have these when you don't have fresh flowers and you know they just it's like a worry free corner like a worry free day copy so I don't know where I'm gonna put these but This was my outfit. This jacket is from H&M. And then I paired it with just a tank underneath. My jeans from Poetry, my favorite jeans at the moment. And then I get so many questions on this bag. It is from Longchamp. I think it's called Rosia or something like that. It is genuine leather. I just, it's one of my favorite bags at the moment. And then the shoes are from Shein as well. I get so many questions on them as well. They are from Shein. They were so affordable. I love ordering shoes from Shein. I haven't ordered like a lot, but I've ordered quite a bit because I'm actually a size two, two and a half. I'm not a full three. I only buy a three because it's literally the smallest female size, adult size that you can get. So if a shoe is too big, I don't have the option to size down. So I've experimented to buy from Shein and they have a size 35, which is a two and a half. And these fit me perfectly. I originally bought them because I love my um, Hermes Orans and they actually come in like a heeled version. So I saw these and they gave like a similar kind of vibe. Let me find them you see they give like a very similar vibe so i got them because i wanted to see if i would potentially um spend the money on like the orans i really just been enjoying these i love i got black and i got the brown because i feel like black and brown really goes well with my wardrobe and then if i need to wear white I'll just wear the black ones. So highly recommend these. I think they were literally like 200 and something rand. I don't even remember. I got them so long ago. But I love the little wooden heel. And I chose to wear 
the um, black ones today and do like the brown bag because they really like they're brown on the inside and they really complemented the bag <laughs> really well so that was my outfit and I thought I would share this because I got a couple of questions on TikTok and on Instagram to give like a little review on these shoes from Shein. They're so comfy, love wearing them. They're like a sandal, but just a little bit more elevated, but still really, really comfortable. And they're just easy like slip-ons and they really just elevate an outfit. I'm gonna take this outfit off. I'm gonna get undressed and change into something. We haven't done the wall yet. We were struggling a little bit today so yeah no wool yet but yeah we are getting ready to head out the door again and just spend a little sunday afternoon at the at the driving range just get some movement in and just make it fun like i feel like workouts can sometimes get very like you're just working out. It needs to be fun. So we like to do these things on the weekends and Brain really enjoys it. I'm gonna participate as well. Not that I'm any good by any means, but we are going to try. My hair is falling out a little bit less. I'm really trying to up my protein in my diet but I feel like I've been stressing quite a bit the last few months obviously because of you know the life and just a lot of things that has happened and I did a little bit of research that hair loss actually only happens months after you went through like stress and trauma, tra trauma and trauma. Um, but it's really, I think it's really important to just do things that kind of take your mind off of responsibilities, things that are happening and just making time to not only just like spiritually connect and just have that relationship with God, but also just making time to take care of yourself. So I'm gonna put my, I'm gonna do like a cute little athleisure vibe outfit. I'm gonna put a hat on. I know I'm here to stay. Won't you come outside where the sunflowers bloom? ran out of panels we just need a few more over here just to complete the wall but I feel like it looks so stunning I just feel like it brings a little bit more of like a warmth to the house because everything is so white and all of the walls are white and although I really love that sometimes it can look a little bit sterile and like hospital like not that i feel like our house looks hospital like but i'm really going towards more of like a cozy vibe i don't want people to come in here and feel like they can't touch anything or sit on my couch because it's white i want them to be able to just come and be comfortable feel cozy and just clean 
<laughs> but not that you can't mess up anything or whatever it's just i feel like i've grown up so much with um just like that part of my life i feel that i was so like uptight for the longest time about like the smallest like the virgo in me and the ocd in me is just like so like ch -ch 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 -ch, that it's hard to let go it's hard to i'm with i'm a go with the flow kind of girl but what time does the flow start where does the flow head to where does the flow end like you know what i'm saying so i feel really good we will um continue the project maybe this coming weekend or the weekend after who knows who cares it's all about just the process and just enjoying it and just spending time i i love that brain and i did it together it was like a little bonding moment we had a bit of an argument as all husband and wife married couples do <laughs> with like opinions like you think that it should be done this way and you were like your brain is programmed to do things a certain way but then he's completely different and then sometimes an argument arises from that but it's okay we enjoyed it we didn't finish it because um, we didn't have the right tools and Brain was frustrated. I was frustrated because I wanted to get this wall finished and I was just so excited to see how pretty it's gonna look. And then we were like, it's fine, let's just try again tomorrow. So just being open, being transparent. People always say like, Brain and I don't fight, but we do, like we do. We are a normal couple. We just do it in a respectful way and we, still treat each other with love and respect and we we take we never like fight in public that's the only thing sometimes like our friends and our family can tell that we have an argument and obviously we're human we've had arguments like in front of other people like we've been together for 13 13 14 years um how long has it been um 13 years it's 13 years this year um but you grow you grow as a couple you learn to navigate life you, you learn to just like work with each other and that's the beauty of it all like working together as a team and then getting a beautiful project like this and then also this morning as i got ready i already started a new vlog kind of bringing you along well I'll, I, th I think I'll see you on Saturday for that vlog I've been loving the consistency I've been loving like just the mood that I'm in and just like the drive I have I feel like just giving myself a bit more space to just be free and just not be so hard on myself on you know my content and just being a little bit more like open and free and just it can be a little bit scary to put your house and your life on the internet for people to see that you barely know but i'm really like opening my heart to my intentions and like how i'm putting it out in the world and hopefully people will receive it that way it won't always be the case all i'm trying to say is i'm loving like where i am at and i hope you kind of see a little bit of a change in me and just that i'm a bit more laid back a little bit more grown up i guess i guess that's what 30s do to you just like entering a new era and just being a little bit more like yolo life is too short you only live once it doesn't have to be perfect participation over perfection is <laughs> the key for me this year and i am so excited to bring you along on another vlog in a couple of days, I um, sorted out the bathroom this morning when I did my makeup. I was like, I'm not gonna get out of this bathroom until this is done. And I've just also been so intentional with my time lately. I started um, with the bathroom and then I had to do something else, but then my phone was dead. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna put my phone on charge while I wait, let me just finish the bathroom. And then like just being very mindful with your time, I guess that is just like on growing up and just realizing that, you know, 
things need to get done so as you're waiting for something quickly unpack the dishwasher and just this drawer has been literally annoying you let's quickly organize it it's gonna take 10 15 minutes it's really not gonna take the whole day like i really have been loving setting aside just little moments during the day to do organizing and cleaning just for my own sanity so that I feel great so that I feel content within myself and happy so that I don't get triggered by this unorganized drawer now I am fighting with brain or like getting upset with someone else or not vibing with my work or you know not feeling good within myself because I'm triggered by all of these receptors that I know are triggering me. I thrive off like a clean and organized space. I know that, I know that. That's why I wanted to do this video and like bring you along. I love an organized fridge. I love being organized with groceries and having fruit in the house, having freshly washed veggies and like all prepared in little buckies. Like I, you know, I love that. I thrive off of that. So I guess like knowing you, knowing yourself and just knowing like in what environments you thrive, I think is, is the key for me. But I hope you enjoyed this vlog, my ladies. I love how the bathroom came out. Everything is just so nice and organized, so neat. There's no hair, <laughs> the hair. Like obviously when Brain is gonna shave, like, the hair is going to get in the drawer when he puts his shaver back. Nail clippers. Sometimes there's going to be an old little nail lying in there. It's okay. Like just taking time to just get into that routine of just staying on top of things, staying organized and just realizing that it's a never ending process. <laughs> And that's also okay. I love you, Lippies, so, so, so much. I hope you enjoyed this time with me. And I will see you, hopefully, on Saturday. Bye, Lippies.